Welcome to a new episode of Universe Mode here on the Planet Clutch YouTube channel. This is our first episode of Raw. And we have quite a card in store for you tonight. And we will kick things off here with an eight man over the top battle royale for the European Championship. And the first entrant in the Battle Royale, Batista. Batista was selected 12th overall in the recent draft by Raw. So obviously high expectations from general manager Stone Cold Steve Austin for Dave Batista. And of course for Batista, He's hoping to start off Universe Mode with a big bang and capture the European Championship. And let's see who number two is. And we have Bobby Lashley, another big guy here in this battle royal Bobby Lashley of course a successful amateur wrestler and he's looking to capture the European Championship as well all eight of these men want to start off on the right foot and what better way than to capture a championship here in the first night of universe mode And Bobby Lashley obviously has to be one of the favorites. And here comes the Bulgarian brute, Rusev. Another big man here in this matchup. That's three big men in Rusev, Batista, and Bobby Lashley. And you know, just like the other two, Rusev would love to make a huge impact here on the first night of Universe Mode. Let's see who the fourth entrant will be. We have the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin. And it seems as though the theme of big men in this matchup is continuing as Baron Corbin, another big man, hasn't found a lot of success in his wrestling career but as Vince said at the draft the reset button has been pushed everything is reset everyone is starting off on even ground so Baron Corbin could get a huge jump over his counterparts with a victory here tonight Corbin the 29th pick the last pick of Raw in the first round so if you're a first round pick obviously there are high expectations for you in this universe mode Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to walk with 
Elias. Elias, another guy who didn't find a whole lot of success under the previous regime, looking to make an impact here tonight. And you have to bet that standing out in this matchup is at the top of his list. The leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole. And I think that this guy is one guy that the SmackDown General Manager Triple H would have loved to have gotten in the draft. Triple H developed this guy in NXT. And now he is here on the main roster. And he's obviously got to be one of the favorites in this matchup. Although, in terms of size, he is much smaller than his combatants. Here we go, the last pick in the second round of the draft, number 60 overall, Cedric Alexander. Another smaller guy looking to make a name for himself here in universe mode. And Cedric Alexander is obviously one of those guys with many, many tools at his disposal. And it looks as though we will have a member of Sanity here. And it will be the big guy, Killian Dane. And for Killian Dane, this European Championship has to mean a lot, especially with his upbringing in Ireland. And you can see the Celtic references on the back of his vest. Another heavy favorite in this match. All right, and this matchup is underway here. As we see Elias Batista facing off, Killian Dane and Cedric Alexander, Baron Corbin, Bobby Lashley, and Adam Cole and Rusev. Bobby Lashley trying to eliminate Baron Corbin early on the far side. Flipped over the top rope. Battling herd is Baron Corbin to stay in this matchup. Now we see Rusev trying to eliminate Batista. Not sure if that's an entirely great idea here in the early going. And on the other side we see Cedric Alexander 
nearly eliminated but able to catch on to the bottom rope. Alexander now pushing Elias into the corner. Rusev and Batista still going toe to toe. And a full Nelson slam delivered by Bobby Lashley to Adam Cole. And now we see Baron Corbin picking up the scraps. On the other side, Bobby Lashley trying to eliminate Killian Dane. Oh! And Elias has eliminated Cedric Alexander. And this matchup is down to seven. Cedric Alexander did not see that coming. And you can see as he walks away, he is disappointed in the outcome of this match. Killian Dane now fighting. Oh, but Lashley gets him back. Oh, look at the strength of Bobby Lashley as he picks up Killian Dane and throws him into the mat. Now we see Batista throwing Adam Cole into the corner, but it seems as though he's fighting two men at this point. But Baron Corbin coming over to pick up Adam Cole. Adam Cole on the top rope, but able to escape. Now we see Baron Corbin targeting Elias. Oh, and a thunderous right. And he will now go after Bobby Lashley. It seems as though Baron Corbin's strategy is to pick on guys who are already down and out. Now we see Batista on the ropes. Adam Cole attempting to eliminate Batista. This would be quite the start to universe mode for Adam Cole if he was able to eliminate Batista here in the early going. Elias attempting to eliminate Bobby Lashley in the corner. Lashley able to power out with an elbow. Killian Dane down in the corner. Oh, and a knee delivered by Rusev to the face of Killian Dane. And Adam Cole delivers a DDT to Batista. On the other side, Elias hanging on for dear life as Baron Corbin. Oh, and somebody. Somebody was just busted open, and it was Batista. Busted open by Rusev. And Rusev looking to finish him off here. And a super kick over the top rope. Batista eliminated. And on the other side, Baron Corbin eliminated by Elias. And just like that, we are down to five men in this battle royale. Bobby Lashley now delivering what seems to be a jackhammer to Adam Cole. Oh, and Adam Cole crashing into the mat. Lashley now picking up Adam Cole and kick him to the, and he kicks him in the midsection. Rusev showing off his strength with a fabulous belly to belly. And it seems as though Adam Cole has been busted open by Bobby Lashley. Cole now attempting to eliminate Lashley. Oh, and Adam Cole has eliminated Bobby Lashley. And he will turn his sights onto Killian Dane as we are down to four. Killian Dane into the corner with Elias. Bit of confusion there as Rusev wanted to attack Elias but could not reach him. Adam Cole, ferocious slap to Elias, followed up by a couple of stiff rights. Elias though, knocking down Adam Cole and a kick to the back of the calf muscle. Adam Cole attempting to eliminate Elias. Meanwhile, on the other side, we see Rusev down in the corner. He's been busted open. Killian Day now from the top rope, coast to coast, by, Dil by Killian Dane. Killian Dane has been busted open. Here comes Elias. Oh, and a clothesline eliminates Killian Dane, and we are down to three. And Elias strumming the air guitar in the middle of the ring. Adam Cole, though, he doesn't like that. 
Adam Cole and a beautiful suplex on Elias and he turns his attention back to Rusev we are down to just three men here who will be the inaugural European champion Adam Cole with a super kick has knocked Rusev over the top rope and Rusev is now eliminated and we are down to Elias and Adam Cole Adam Cole thunderous knee to the back of Elias's neck Elias with a reversal however Adam Cole fighting back could this be it Elias battling for dear life holding on to the second rope he's flipped over but he holds on to the bottom rope Adam Cole trying his best to kick Elias off the apron Elias though fighting back and I have to say of the eight men that started this matchup I did not envision Adam Cole and Elias being the two finalists here but you have to give them their due they've certainly fought to get this far Adam Cole now with a swinging neck breaker as Elias crashes into the mat Adam Cole dragging Elias into the corner and will once again attempt to eliminate Elias Elias not in a favorable not in a favorable position here trying to battle out oh and a thunderous right to the side of Adam Cole's face kick to the midsection but the chop misses he's gonna twist that arm around now oh and an arm drag takes down Adam Cole Elias now with the clothesline and your inaugural European champion is Elias we'll just take a look back here at some of the highlights of this matchup as Elias receives his European Championship in the ring lots of heavy hitting lots of shocking eliminations and a surprise winner in Elias and you have to bet that this universe has to be ready to walk with Elias you can see the blood on Elias's hands courtesy of Adam Cole's face but Elias has battled hard and deservingly so he is your European champion okay so we he see here in the middle matches we seen Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel take out the Hardy Boys Eric Young and Alexander Wolf defeating Big E and Kofi Kingston and the War Raiders taking out the Undisputed Era and these three matches were very important as next week on Raw Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel will take on Eric Young and Alexander Wolf and Rowan Hansen for the Raw Tag Team titles so let's move ahead here we have the women's championship on the line Charlotte Flair versus Asuka and our main event the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line we had the Miz versus Chris Jericho versus Randy Orton versus Samoa Joe fatal four-way steel cage but first we will check out Charlotte Flair and Asuka All right, folks, and here we have perhaps the most dominant woman in history of the WWE, one of the most athletic females to ever grace the ring. She is the daughter of Hall of Famer Ric Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair, of course.
Charlotte Flair, the 32nd pick here in the draft. The first pick by Raw in the second round. The first woman selected by Stone Cold, Steve Austin. So you have to know he has high expectations for Charlotte. And of course her counterpart, Asuka, was selected 33rd. So one pick after. These two will head the women's division here on Raw for the foreseeable future. We will just have to see who will take home the women's championship here tonight. And one person who has to be ecstatic with this whole reset button being pushed is Asuka. As we know, she had she had some rough times under the previous regime. But she is looking to take out Charlotte here tonight. She is looking to erase those memories. And she is looking to become the inaugural woman's champion here on Raw. And we are about to get underway here for the Women's Championship as the ref raises the title for everyone to see. Charlotte Flair, Asuka, one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Asuka with a drop kick to Flair. Flair crashing to the mat. Asuka twisting already working on that arm of Charlotte. Charlotte Flair with a vicious right to the face of Asuka. Asuka seems to be favoring that knee but able to get up and throw a punch of her own as she throws Charlotte into the corner. Asuka going to the top rope. What could we see? Oh and a missile drop kick delivered to Charlotte. Top rope maneuvers, not generally something that we see in the women's division, but we know that these two will not shy away from going up top. Oh, and a vicious stomp to the face of Asuka. Charlotte now, oh, but she's taken down. Vicious kick to the back of Charlotte. Asuka now, oh, but an arm drag takes down Asuka. Charlotte looking to take advantage. Dragging Asuka to the corner. Oh, and she slams her head into the turnbuckle. But Asuka reverses. Asuka now lifting Charlotte to the top. What could we see here? Oh, and a hurricanrana tossing Charlotte to the middle of the ring. Asuka going for a pin. Oh, but a kick out after one. You know that Charlotte is not going down that easily. Asuka now. Some vicious kicks to the back. And vicious elbows to the head of Charlotte. And you can tell Asuka has a plan here. She wants some ground and pound. Asuka flying off the rope. Oh, and a kick. Hooks a leg. Going for a pin. Oh, but another kick out after one. Asuka now. Sending up Charlotte. Oh, but Charlotte able to reverse with a kick to the back of the leg and a German suplex taking Asuka to the mat. Charlotte dragging Asuka towards the middle. What could we see here? A vicious elbow to the head of Asuka returning the favor. And the fans seem to be really into this matchup. Asuka. Oh, Asuka with a big slap. Or Charlotte, rather. And we see a stun gun. Oh, what a maneuver by Asuka. Asuka now. Look at the torque on the neck of Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte able to battle out with some vicious knees to the forehead of Asuka. Asuka throwing Charlotte into the corner. 
What will we see here? Oh, and she slams Asuka. Or Asuka slams Charlotte, rather. I want a big boot to the midsection, but she misses the clothesline. Charlotte getting some vicious slaps here. Oh, and a big spear delivered by Charlotte to Asuka, and she's going for the pin. Oh, but Asuka able to kick out after two, and Charlotte cannot believe it. Charlotte sizing up Asuka. What could we see here? Oh, and the natural selection delivered to Asuka. Could this be it? Hook of the leg. Oh, but Asuka once again able to get her shoulder up after a count of two. Charlotte once again does not believe it. Oh, and she's channeling her father, Rick. What could this mean? Oh, but Asuka able to battle out, throwing some vicious right hands. Oh, and a spinning boot. What could we see here? Asuka, could this be it? Asuka going for a pin. And Asuka has defeated Charlotte Flair. And she is the inaugural women's champion here on Raw. What a match. Oh, and what is this? Charlotte extending her hand. Oh, and what a show of sportsmanship here by Charlotte Flair. She knows that Asuka put on a phenomenal matchup and she wanted to thank her for the showing. Ladies and gentlemen, Asuka, your women's champion here on Raw. All right, folks, and it is main event time. The Intercontinental Championship will be out for grabs. In a fatal four-way steel cage matchup, we have The Miz, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Samoa Joe. These guys all high first round picks here on Raw. The highest, of course, Samoa Joe. He went ninth overall in the draft. Batista went 12, Miz 16, and Jericho 17. However, I do not consider Chris Jericho by any means an underdog in this matchup. And of course, Chris Jericho and The Miz, no one knows better than these two the significance of the Intercontinental title. Randy Orton, former Intercontinental Champion, quite some time ago. However, the reset button has been pushed, so those reigns no longer count. Everything is starting over. Everything is new. Who will become the universe's inaugural Intercontinental Champion? We will just have to wait and see. My personal favorite, Chris Jericho. This is the guy I am looking forward to seeing win the Intercontinental Championship. But with all feelings aside, there are four great combatants in this match. Four superstars that could easily be world champions. And either of the four will represent the Intercontinental Championship and its legacy well. And of course, begin a new legacy with the title here in universe mode. And here comes the Viper, Randy Orton. Very successful superstar over his career. And he would like to extend that success 
here into universe mode. Randy Orton, of course, the owner of perhaps one of the most devastating finishing maneuvers in all of wrestling, being the RKO. And as we all know, the RKO could come at any place, at any time. So everyone needs to look out for Randy Orton in this matchup. And here is another guy relatively new to the WWE scene, but he's had quite a decorated career in professional wrestling, and he would like to become the inaugural Intercontinental Champion here tonight. Samoa Joe would like to represent Raw as a champion. He was the highest pick in this matchup. Stone Cold obviously putting a lot of faith in Samoa Joe and I'm sure Samoa Joe would also like to see success here in this matchup. And here we have it folks, the Intercontinental Championship. These four men inside of a steel cage main event here on the inaugural show of Raw. And we are about ready to go as the cage lowers. And here we go. Orton and Miz, Chris Jericho, and Samoa Joe hooking up. A Russian leg sweep takes down Randy Orton. And on the other side, we see Jericho working on the legs of Samoa Joe early, maybe foreshadowing the walls of Jericho. Oh, but Jericho looking to escape. Randy Orton trying to stop him, but the Miz grabs Orton from behind. What is Miz thinking? Oh, but Miz able to get Jericho. I guess he wanted to be the one to stop Chris Jericho from escaping here. Jericho, however, not taking a liking to that. On the other side, Samoa Joe kicking and punching Randy. Randy, however, reverses with a thunderous right. Throw into the corner. Orton now breaking up the submission move. And Orton going to try to escape himself. But Samoa Joe is not having that as Randy Orton crashes into the mat. Miz taking down Jericho, picking him back up. Jericho thrown into the ropes, but he is taken down with a big boot by the Miz. Oh, and a power slam, taking down Orton. Miz now attempting to escape, but Samoa Joe catches him from the corner of his eye, slamming that leg into the cage, and then Miz crashing into the mat. Jericho now turning his attention to Randy Orton, but Orton with a suplex, crashing the back of Chris Jericho into the mat. Ferocious kicks by Joe to the face of The Miz. Oh, and an uppercut to Jericho. Jericho, however, reverses. And on the other side, Snake Eyes delivered by Samoa Joe. Joe now with a running senton. And you know, the ribs of The Miz must have felt the impact from that maneuver. Jericho and Orton going at it. Orton with a vicious clothesline. Orton now trying to escape. Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe sees him. And that will be the end of that escape. Oh wait, Orton able to fight off Joe. However, Orton declines to climb any further and walks right into a suplex by Samoa Joe. On the other side, we have The Miz with a kick and a DDT. 
Oh, and the Coquita clutch locked in on Randy. The Miz turns around, delivering an elbow to Chris Jericho. And what? Samoa Joe has made Randy Orton tap out in this matchup. I did not see that coming, but we all know how dangerous the Coquita Clutch can be. And I think the mistake by The Miz was delivering that elbow from the cage onto Chris Jericho rather than just jumping down and breaking up the submission. And I'm not even sure if Randy tapped. Did he tap or did he pass out? Oh no, he tapped. Samoa Joe, folks, the inaugural Intercontinental Champion. And for Joe, you know that has to feel good. He was the highest pick in this match. And he delivered. He showed the universe that Stone Cold made the correct decision. And I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. And we will see you at SmackDown. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our first show of Raw. Three new inaugural champions. What a night. We finished off with the exciting steel cage match. But if you enjoyed, I'd like you to hit the thumbs up button. Give us a subscribe. Smackdown will be coming out in a few days. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been very exciting for me personally. I love Universe Mode. I want to keep bringing these episodes to you guys at home. So show us some support, show us some love, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and tune into SmackDown when that video is released. So, have a great night everyone.